Yeah, if you want to see what 800 okay. pounds of, of wool looks like, um, we were having an infrastructure discussion, but unfortunately here in this country, we don't have infrastructure to properly clean wool like they do in New Zealand, okay. uh, which is a significant part of their GDP. So we're stuck buying from New Zealand. It, we're, not, we're happy with it mm -hmm. uh, because you can see how, how efficient and tight they get into a package. So each bundle is about 800 pounds okay. uh, and it's super dense. Wow. And that comes in a 20 foot container and I get about one a month. But um, then the whole process is just opening it up. Uh, it has to be rid of lanolin, skin secretions, and dung, and dirt, yep. and hay. Yep. Um, number one, it's just, there's no place for that in a building material. And number two, it serves as an attractant for uh, bugs and moths. Um, so, so you clean so you clean it? It's, it, it goes it, through it's a cleaning clean. process? It's got to be clean okay. before it gets You do that here? Or? No, oh, no, no. This before. stuff already comes clean. It comes clean. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and that's the reason I can't get domestic wool from farmer A and farmer B, because uh, how, do, how do you clean it? Right. It just it just doesn't happen. Okay, um, interesting. And plus, and you can see the quantities we use. Uh, yeah, um, it's not possible. But yeah, but, but check this stuff out. It's always fun. Okay. Like, ah, like you know, a nice soft wool pillow. But this <laughs> yeah, is, this right. is not super compact. Yeah. Holy crap! <laughs> yeah. That's insane. It's, it's, it's legit. So, it's so two, then when you open it, it it just well, I mean, so these steel bands, right? A yeah. Two hundred ton press compresses this stuff. Wow. Uh, and it explodes. So like <laughs> leathers, face shield, cage on top of this, Whoa. and it just bam, and blows up. No way. You know, it, it, it's like a, a gunshot going. Wow. On. Yeah. Um, That's sure insane. Yeah, and then the whole process is just opening up the fiber <laughs> and aligning it. Um, okay. And then, because there's no glue, so then I see some it. bats right here yeah, that you're. Yeah. So it's a it's a very so rudimentary small. process okay. in terms of bagging it. Okay. Um, this stuff is being folded so I can uh, compress it for uh, shipping easier. The the van folks, I have a, a great following with them. Yeah, yeah, van life. It makes so much sense in a condensation metal box that you're sure. sleeping in to have something that manages moisture. I lived moisture. in a van in New Zealand yeah. for like a oh, year. Oh, sweet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, and they've got some sweet vans over there. Yeah, so. they do. Yeah. Yeah, we had a Mitsubishi like four wheel drive yeah, van that just we could like take cute everywhere. And just goes everywhere. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, super badass. Yep. Um, so yeah, so we fold it. it just, but it sucked to like cook our pasta and stuff in it. Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. try to sleep in it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, so, so wool. Um, That's great. You know, hydrophobic exterior, hygroscopic interior. Okay. So uh, people hear that, that wool absorbs moisture and they get all scared. Right. Uh, but like the second half of the conversation that people seem to forget uh -huh. easily is that it also releases that moisture. That's just that like moisture. hempcrete. Yeah. And people are like, oh, so now there's all this No, 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 it's just stuff. for a second. It releases <laughs> yeah. it, yeah. Um, so, so it's a great conversation okay. just to have with folks and cool. certainly compared to foam and every other junky fiber out there. Okay. Um, cool. Yeah, every, every so you said these machines are from from what now? You know, they're, they're left over from the textile industry, wow. and you'll find the concentration of them was in South and North Carolina. So where, they're like 50, 60 years old. Yeah, before the industry went overseas. Oh, okay. Um, so this this is called wow. the bail breaker. Whoa. And, uh, and oh, so okay, so the, that's the conveyor move, kind of James Bond style. Whoa. Uh, get out before you get into the the heart of it. But, okay. Uh, so yeah, you can kind of see this is just a raw wool. Okay. And it's, um, it's super wow. matted and dense, uh, and the f the process for us is peeling it apart, opening it up, getting all these fibers to have more air between them. That's how we trap air. And that's what this machine is for. This is one of them. Okay. And then we. Move it <laughs> it's all a multi-tier process. Huh? Yeah. This, okay. This is like more of like a rough opening. Okay. And then we go into some carding machines with some tweaks on them that allow us to align the fiber, open it further, and then. The raw material, the, the, the finished product is very lofty and soft and voluptuous and uh, very different from, from what you see here. So, yeah, okay. a lot of folks think we just pass the wool on because we import it. Right. It's a raw material, clearly. So, you have we, to. Yeah, we, okay. put our, we put our spin on it, literally. Um, yeah, and then the, the loose fill is uh, probably what you're looking at or considering. But yeah. The whole thing for us is still experiment. You know, there's no real uh, rule book for how to make or contain the stuff watch your oh, stuff on the oh thanks pool. yep yeah but basically uh we've got a, a glorified hopper okay and we just shoot all of the loose wool oh wow look at here. that and um this is the the finished product oh, for beautiful. the blow-in yeah nice it's it's awesome <laughs> r4.3 and 4.3 yeah, wow yeah okay that's higher than we were getting yeah it, you know the other there's some companies that 
and we were we were having to like pull it apart as we were putting it in the yeah, I mean, blowers. It, it's tough for me to you know talk smack about other wool purveyors. Uh, They're doing that, their best. It didn't look like that. Yeah, yeah, but I'll we're tell you that. we're aware of where our competitors <laughs> are and the volume that, yeah. they, that they they sell and um, just you know their, yeah their we abilities. we had like four people that would, that's what they were doing yeah. before we put it into the hopper to blow up into the roof. They were just pulling it apart because it yep. was all matted together and there was. Yeah. other things in their yarn and just all kinds yeah, of stuff. Yeah, so that company chops. Like, they, they literally chop it. Okay. And, and our process is we roll it. You roll it. Yeah, okay. it, just, it takes an extra machine I, to do. I can, I mean, I can immediately it's, tell it's the difference. It's instantly different. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then so, like, these these big bags up here. And it would blow different, too. These get sucked down into uh, a finished product. I'll show you. It's like one of those small bags there. So okay. it's about six times reduced. And a huge industrial vacuum, that big tanks of vacuum. Um, they suck it down so I can actually transport it. Cause okay. You, 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 so you take all this time to to open, open it up, it up and then, and go then back you compact the, yeah, it again. I know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, so, so but then when, just, once you open those, then it then it, then it pops yeah. and, and wool is really responsive to to moisture. Okay. So as it starts to work for you, it absorb and desorb the fiber moves. So, so okay. two of these fibers inside are, are absorb water at different rates, basically. Okay. And that creates movement, okay. which is really interesting. So it moves. That movement creates energy. The energy creates heat. Hmm. It, it literally gives off heat when it starts moving. It's not oh. going to heat your house. Right. But a lot of times it's enough to stave off condensation. Huh. Um, and it's just really interesting to know that it's doing something for you right. besides just sitting your wall that you never see again. Right. Um, it, it buffers. It manages the, the temperature as well. Um, yeah, so cool. that's, that's kind of what we got going. Wow, that's great. Uh, yeah, and then we, we bought the building, I don't know, about a year or something ago. So okay. we had to move all the machinery over. And we, we just got another line that we're still trying to set up. And so kind of how long capacity. have you guys been in business for like then? Seven years. Seven years, yeah. okay. I mean, it's just interesting. Wool is a new or alternative material here in the States, but in uh -huh. every other developed nation it's it's been in existence for a long while right kind of yeah because i was interested difficult. in filling our our roof with hempcrete yes. and then a guy from new zealand greg faval he said well you know because he's from new zealand yeah. he's like well we use wool because <laughs> yeah. we have so much of it yeah and it just makes more sense you know i was like okay i'll look into wool and that's when yeah yeah that's why so i got interested in the, it. the bat line which is not running now we were shut down but um, basically, it comes in a really thin film and this wow. flakes. It's called a cross lapper, so it just okay. flakes the wool down and it okay. slowly moves its way up. And then you see I've got a couple hundred needles of barbs on them. So oh, wow. Instead of glue, uh, you know, most, most glue everyone uses is formaldehyde, uh, which is a no no for us. Uh, we stitch it together with its own fibers. So this sews the bats yeah, together. Exactly. Wow. And then super, you know, uh, jail fab style. Uh, cutting process just spinning blades and they're so you guys modified this center. machine oh yeah I mean, yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was it meant for originally to um, sew yeah i mean needle punching's been around you know for for uh, many different fibers it just okay. depends on what you're making uh Crazy. how dense of a material you're trying to trying to punch and then it goes to the guillotine so it actually cuts Okay. Um, with hydraulic pressure. Okay. And then it's just a so that cuts it into sections, into lengths. Yep. Yep. Okay. And we'll make them 24 wide or 16 wide, depending. Right. On your, your depending spacing. on the framing. R20, okay. R13, R7, and bats, and then loose fill is 4.3 wow. an inch. And then, yeah, I mean, we're still at the point where we're manually bagging. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and we'll progress as as we get bigger. Sure. Yeah. Wow. This is a great facility. Hey, it's fun. It's cool. It's fun to have folks here that yeah. appreciate and understand or are interested in the in the process. Oh, I love it. I think it's great. I love wool. Oh, yeah. 